Looking for an easy way to make your videos more interesting, more dynamic? Who isn't? Then you're going to want to know all about iMovie's Picture-in-Picture -picture feature. Picture-in-Picture -picture gives you the power to combine separate video elements in different ways to create some interesting effects. Let me show you. All right, so here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.3.8 running on Mac OS Ventura 13.4.1 for your reference. And I have this project open with this on-camera video clip on the timeline. I've got this iMovie logo in the browser that I want to add to this shot. I'd like the logo to appear on screen over my shoulder like you see in so many news shows. To do that, I'm going to use iMovie's picture-in-picture -picture feature. So I'll start by clicking and dragging the iMovie graphic to the timeline and putting it on top of my on-camera clip. The graphic is filling the screen and it has this little zoom animation on it. To get rid of the zoom animation, I'll go up to the toolbar above the viewer and you can see the cropping button is active, which tells me there's some kind of cropping effect on the graphic. So I'm going to select the cropping button and the crop settings appear. And you can see beside style that the Ken Burns button is turned on. I don't want that. So I'll switch the crop style to fit and click on the blue check mark to lock in my change. And that gets rid of that little zoom. Now, if you don't want to have to remove that zoom every time you add an image to your timeline, go up to iMovie's top menu and select iMovie Settings. And in iMovie Preferences, Photo Placement, you can see by default it's set to Ken Burns, which means every image or graphic you bring in will have the Ken Burns effect applied to it. Now, if you don't want that, click on that menu and switch it to Fit or Crop to Fill. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. With the graphic selected, I'll go up to the toolbar above the viewer and click on this first button here. This opens up the video overlay settings. This graphic is on top of the main timeline, which makes it an overlay. And if we look to the left in the settings, we see that this graphic is set to cutaway mode, which means it's just going to sit on top of the main timeline full screen as is. I'll select the button that says cut away. And from the settings menu, I'm going to switch the graphic clip to picture in picture. And my clip changes from full screen to this scaled down inset version. This clip is now in picture in picture mode. So I can position it where I want by just clicking and dragging on it in the viewer. I can also scale it up or down by clicking and dragging on these blue corner handles. All right, there's where I want the graphic to end up. Now, by default, when you switch a clip into picture-in-picture -picture mode, your clip automatically dissolves on, stays on screen for the length of the clip, and then dissolves off. Now, that's because this little transition style menu up here beside the overlay settings is set to dissolve. To the right of that is a field where you can change the speed of the dissolve. The default is 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to enter one to change the duration of the dissolve to one second, which creates a slower dissolve. Now, you can also change the duration of the dissolve on the clip itself in the timeline by clicking and dragging on these little blue handles. Now, if you don't want a dissolve transition, just drag the handle all the way to the left until the little tooltip says zero. Be sure to go over and click on the blue check mark to lock in your changes. But a dissolve is not the only effect you can use to bring on video elements in picture in picture mode. You can also use animation. I'm going to go back up to the transition menu, which is set to dissolve, and select it. And you see I have some other choices. Let's select zoom. Now my graphic starts from nothing and zooms up into its final position, stays on screen for the length of the clip, then zooms back off. Now I can change the speed of the zoom by entering a duration in seconds in this field. Again, I'll enter one second, and I get a slower zoom. FYI, dragging on the little blue handles on the clip on the timeline does not affect the zoom speed. Now, the interesting thing about the zoom animation is its origin point. It changes 
depending on the final position of the clip. I guess to try and create the most pleasing animation. Again, click on the blue check mark to lock in your changes. The last picture in picture effect I want to show you is something I think would be really useful for making tutorial or reaction videos. All right, in this example project, I've got two clips on the timeline. On the main track, I have an on camera narration. So in this presentation, we're going to And on the overlay phase. track, I have video of a slide presentation that was recorded along so with record. the on camera so narration. The audio. I'm going to use picture in picture to blend these two clips together to make a more dynamic video. All right, to start, I'm going to select the screen recording overlay clip and up in the video overlay settings, I'm going to switch it from cutaway to picture in picture. And the overlay clip shrinks down and now you can see the on camera clip on the main timeline here. I'll click and drag the picture in picture clip down to the bottom right corner of the viewer and click and drag on these corner handles to make it just a little bit bigger. Now remember, by default, our picture in picture clip has this half second dissolve transition on it. I'm going to leave that on. All right, I'm going to play the timeline from the beginning and then I'm going to stop it right after I say the three phases of video production. Phases of video production. All right, making sure my screen recording picture in picture clip is selected on the timeline, I'm going to press Command B on my keyboard to split the clip at the playhead. I'll select the second picture in picture clip I just split off, then go up and select the video overlay transition menu and switch it from dissolve to swap and watch what happens. So in this presentation, we're going to talk about the three phases of video production. The first phase is pre the picture in picture overlay. My presentation swaps places with the clip on the main timeline, my on camera. Now, right now, the swap is happening instantaneously, so it looks like a cut edit. We can change that. Back up to the video overlay transition menu, and beside the swap setting, there is a field where you can change how fast the swap happens in seconds. I'm going to change this to one second and hit return. Let's play back to see what happens. So in this presentation, we're going to talk about the three phases of video production. The first phase is pre-production. Instead of happening instantaneously, the swap happens more gradually, creating a zoom animation. Very slick. And if we go down to the end of the timeline and play back, basic phases of video production. The swap reverses the clips and my on-camera goes full screen again. Video. I'm going to shorten the overlay clip a little bit just to make the swap happen a little sooner. Phases of video production. There, I like that timing better. Remember to click on the blue check mark to lock in your changes. Those are just the basics when it comes to the kinds of effects you can create with picture in picture in iMovie. There's a lot of useful functionality in there if you know how to use it. So experiment with it. And if you're looking for another example of iMovie's hidden but incredibly useful functionality, have a look at this video.